Hello and welcome to Radio Waves by Todderbert. If you enjoy reviews, comparisons, shootouts of new and classic portable radios, then please subscribe and tap the bell icon so you don't miss any future videos. Today for review, I have the Kaito Voyager KA500. It's an AM, FM, shortwave, weather band, emergency radio. I purchased my radio for a total of $49.95 from Amazon. And here's the box it came in. I've been looking at this radio for quite a while. I bought the KA700 and the 600L because somebody wanted me to compare them. And I'm like, okay, they're cool looking radios. But I always have my eyes set on this radio. And I, I always just like over, the, I think the last few years, I was just like, I really got to get this radio one day. And uh, now I got it. I'm happy. So we'll go over the features here. On the front, Voyager, picture of the radio. You can guess what color I got. Yeah. Noah. There's some text you guys can pause and read. Pause and read. <laughs> so yeah, I was looking at this box. Wait, here we go. And uh, yeah, there's a different color on here. Maybe some symbols. You guys can pause if you need to or not. Okay. So I saw this when I first opened the box. I'm like, oh no, they sent me a red one. Man. And I went like this. I'm like, oh, I got the red one. And I was like, well, I gotta send it back, I guess. And I looked over here, I'm like, yellow? <laughs> It was like, I got the yellow one, okay. It's funny how like depressed I got and how excited I got in the same moment. <laughs> Stories to tell you. Okay, so yeah, here's pretty much the same stuff. Pause, read. Okay, you guys got it? Awesome. Okay, wow, I just noticed this. Blackberry, do they still make those? Okay, this must be, uh, this radio's been out for a while, so I guess, yeah, I guess that makes sense. The Blackberry would be on there. Okay, so let's go ahead and show what's inside the box. Right now there's just some empty materials in there. Okay, so in the box we get ever so popular project registration guide. Fill it out and get your warranty. They're based in the US, so it's awesome. So if you have a problem, you just give them a call and they help you out. Good company. All right, next we get the manual. Pretty basic stuff here. Here we go, the Kaido Voyager Solar Crank Weather Alert Multiband Radio with the cell phone charger. Yep, pretty standard for emergency radio. Most radios should have that. They're good emergency radios. Oh, here's I want to show you that last page there. You guys can pause if you guys are curious about the specs on the bands. There you go. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and close this up, and we'll go over most of that. All right, next I got a pair of headphones in there. That was cool. I didn't get a chance to try these out, but uh, I'm sure they're okay. I have my own pair that I use. Here we have the USB charging cable in the focus all right and the radio came bubble wrapped sweet <laughs> let's show you the radio here it is the voyager k500 in yellow i love the yellow it's just a cool looking color plus it's a color you're going to notice in an emergency um, yellow red are, are two colors i'd always go to for emergency black eh. i mean i bought a black emergency radio uh, because it's the only color they had uh, available or something so yeah it's it is what it is, but if I had a choice, i definitely get yellow. So that's why it's yellow. <laughs> uh, so, okay, let's score some dimensions. Eight inches long, five inches high, and a depth of two and a half inches. Cool. So features, we'll start with the left-hand side. We have the dynamo. Pretty simple fare. Comes out, crank it up. A little charge light going there. Yeah, those are always fun. Crank like crazy for a few minutes of radio. <laughs> I'd rather just put batteries in if I had some batteries. But if you didn't, you have that, which is awesome. Okay, front of the radio, we have Voyager. Love that. Looks cool on the yellow. Yellow and black just looks awesome together. Speaker measures about two and a quarter inches. Up here, we got some different lights. Uh, that's your uh, battery indicator, high, low. Green is good. Low is bad. The red is bad. So definitely tells you what your battery level is and your internal battery. And then here's... a. Uh, tuning light. Uh, this is really bright red, so you're going to see that in a moment. And then it turns green when it's charging. And uh, I don't know if yeah, my solar panel is not open, so, but yeah, it, it definitely shows green there when it's charging. Uh, let's see, we have four-way powered, some more writing. Here's our band. You saw them all. You guys can just kind of look them over. I don't have to say them. Pretty, pretty simple. Here's our tuning indicator. Okay, down on the bottom there you can see some switches. This is pretty cool. I like this dedicated. This reminds me of the um, C Crane um, radio where they have the selector for the seven bands. I really like that idea. 
you know, it's really nice to solidly click in your station and you're there. Here's your band select, weather, FM, AM, shortwave one, shortwave two. And here we have the power select, off, battery, solar crank DC, that's your internal battery, and then the NOAA alert mode. And if you turn that, it shows that your alert mode is on. So that's good to know. Okay. Solar crank, K500, all right. Bottom has little feet like the K700, so it stands up real nice. Here we have a slide switch. Now the switch activates the lights. So we have a bunch of lights here. We have the reading lamps, which are these here. You get these really bright LED lamps. There's five there. Uh, does a great job lighting up the room. Uh, that is something I'm gonna mention here in a second. Um, SOS, we have a little blinker. And then we have a dial light, which is really cool. I was surprised to see this, this is nice. And then a forward light. So this light isn't so strong, it's, it's okay. Um, you can see that from a distance, it's just not real. It's, you might see something on the floor, but that's about it. So I recommend if you're in an emergency, just kick on your reading lamp, open this up and walk around with this because this will light up the whole room. So yeah, you'll be using that light see what you're doing all right so yeah that's the light switch there and let's see what else we got uh, it's pretty much covers the front the top we, we have this carrying strap which is really nice it has this molded rubber grip I like that and to the right side here you saw the light with the blinker and the flashlight here we have the tuning knob it's a simple analog style uh, here we have the volume knob simple basic okay a little bit of protection molded around it, it looks like. You can see those kind of like guards there, around the volume knob anyway. All right, so on the back of the radio, we have a large solar panel with, with the reading lamps, which is nice because this pivots, and this one holds this position really well. I like that. And it also goes all the way up, so you can charge it however the sun is coming in. So it's very handy. And you got, of course, I showed you the reading lamps which you'll be using as your main light pretty much because it is the best source of light on this radio. Here we have an antenna that telescopes out to 14 inches. Here we have the battery compartment and there's some information there. And there you yeah, go, there's your 3.6 volt, 600 milliamp hour battery and electronics. So go ahead and open this up. Hinges, it can, this is really cool. Now, whenever you have an emergency radio, if you can buy one that has the ability to run on normal batteries, do it because if this ever fails and there's no way to charge it you're kind of out of luck um, so yeah definitely have it so you have reserve power like that that is really a must and i love ha having a radio that has that i do own a radio that doesn't have this and i like it but if it ever failed i'd be out of luck so i'm glad i have multiples <laughs> uh, here behind this little rubber door are all our ports and this looks familiar to the k700 uh, you got a headphone port it's pretty similar to K700s, it's got the hiss. It's not something you're gonna use every day. Um, I use the external speaker only. Uh, you have a switch. Oh yeah, they don't, have, okay, I'm gonna mention this. This is your charging switch on and off. So on is when to activate the charging dynamo out, and then in is, um, so you, when you hook up your USB, it's charging in to the system, and your dynamo charges the internal battery instead of charging the phone. So that's good to know. And then there's the AC adapter. That's what I forgot. So the K K700 doesn't have this. They eliminated this port. Uh, this is a really nice feature. This charges the internal batteries also. So does that USB micro. But uh, this will, I guess, run the radio too if you disconnect the internal battery uh, so you don't overcharge it. I believe the manual said you can run the radio with just the AC adapter, which is good if you want to run it all the time. I don't have the AC adapter. It's optional. So that gives you an idea what's behind that little door. I do like this little rubber cover like that. All right, so we can turn the radio on and hear what it sounds like. So I'm gonna extend my antenna because we're gonna go to the NOAA band first and see what it sounds like. So that's always exciting. Turn the battery. Highs in the upper 30s. Friday night, partly cloudy. Lows in the mid 20s. Channel five. Saturday. Six. Eight, mostly clear. Seven. Lows in the upper 20s in the suburbs and in the lower 30s downtown. Lows in the upper 20. Humidity with 65%. Channel 4. The Channel 3. And 
19 at Waukegan. Channel 2. Rockford reported 22. Highs in the upper 30s. Chance of precipitation 30%. Channel 1. Late evening and early so morning. This a 30% chance of rain in the afternoon. Wow, okay, so this weather radio is really good. Lower 40s inland, but only getting almost every channel west. except for 6. Monday night. That's really Monday nice. Night. I like that. Chance of rain and snow in the All right, cool. So we're going to go to FM, go to the bottom of the scale, see what it sounds like. Lows in the upper 20s. FM, baby. Now it's step tuning, so we love step tuning. There's a super bright light. <laughs> I'm just using the regular 14 inch antenna. It's doing pretty good right in this spot, too. Already owned by the Russian state. Four years ago, I had foot surgery. The 90.5 classical, a really hard station to grab usually. centuries later, and I wanted a broken cistern. You know you don't to look at it. Even if it's pay time off, career it would be a state <laughs> with its, its own, own state. <laughs> up to a $70 rebate when Rose shocks and struts are 10% for monsterpowersport.com and click on we buy we were just kids when we fell I had to hide it from the kids. Sounds good. Audio is really good for an emergency radio. Wow, it's nice. Finding a lot of stations on FM. Who isn't a Floyd fan? <laughs> they can't find you, and now they miss you. Must I remind you, I'm only here to twist you. Pistol with you. Election in other salons, and if you buy a sample gown, you'll... The program that he's offering for a very short time. If you... All right, so that's the end of that. So what we're going to do is we're going to hook this up to the uh, wire I have for the shortwave test because, to be honest with you, if you own a shortwave radio capable like this, especially in an emergency, just, just go out and buy one of these little wires. They're like 10 bucks, And uh, then you have an ability to really draw on those stations. 
especially in an emergency, you're going to want to hook it up and have that handy. I would keep the reel like taped or zip tied or something to this handle, and then you have it at a moment's notice. And you could string it up outside, you could, you know, have it indoors, however, but uh, it's just really nice to have. So we're going to go ahead, we're going to go to Shore Wave 1. Sure to join us next time as we hear from Bart and Shannon Millard from the popular Christian band Mercy Me. I got five kids. If we can't get our order straight in drive through, I'll snap. I'm like, come on, what is wrong with this? Let's see if we can pick some stuff up. I think that was a ham operator. Can't bring them back. It's funny. I, I try so hard with that Skywave SSB to get hams, and here I got one. <laughs> okay. Tune it up. Not sure what I'm picking up there. So we get the time signal at least. Messages to them. He's back. <laughs> it's better for them that never heard the prophet. Found some money. Never take. Yes, yes, Here, I'm over to the AM. Okay, so we'll go down to the AM band. Bottom. What should we do about North Korea? Okay. And let me take out this, collapse my antenna, and we'll do a quick band scan. We'll see if we can pick up any few distant stations and know where they're at and if we can get them or not. I was having a hard time getting Zoomer with this. I do back and forth quite a bit because the selectivity is not that greatest, but I was able to get it. Just took a while. I guess when you're sitting there with the power off and Nothing to do, you can sit there and tweak the dials. <laughs>
Probably Nashville. Yeah, I believe this is 650 right there. Tal doesn't quite line up. Perfect. So we knew that was 650. From the Northwestern Football Update Studio. Okay, here's 700 WLW. And more of this fall at Ryan Field. 720s right here. Just a real strong channel. It tends to overpower the middle of this 720 to 780. But there are plenty of absentee ballots still to count for Republican Rick Sexton to win. Under Pennsylvania law, supporters of the trailing candidate and save as much as seven hundred dollars. Got a finish to a surprising special election that saw Lamb do better than Hillary Clinton did across the district. There's Zoomer. Oh wait, we're back to Nashville. That's the hard part. Finding that station is really difficult. Seventy-two. It was the uh, feeding LIU Brooklyn seventy-one sixty-one. Save Bonaventure up some money. Call now and get your forty-four pills and save over. You build the pay for your love. You may not be so bad. I'm going to give There's you this for the munch of fun you must have had. Men have taught you girls a lot. Men cool. want all the love you've got. And when they wanted, they wanted hot. Huh? Samantha German spoke to parents in Newport News, Virginia. Mostly, all the local I do this job because I love Wednesday's Powerball jackpot is $420 million. All it takes is just one ticket to the attorney. And even if you don't win the You're thinking of buying a house or selling a house? Et puis que tu dis que tu voulais pas rien imposer comme sensation euh, aux spectateurs. It's coming in clear 860 Toronto. So you know you can get Zoomer with this. This is cool. If you're going to sell your home, you can find an expert with John Schuster from the John Schuster Group at Coldwell. Ah, mais j'aimerais ça voir la fille qui me raconte son one night stand qui a pas fonctionné. Ah ouais, ok. Cette décision, moi. Qualify as experts. Enough homes that they're able to make a deal. This could be WHAS, probably. We agree on a price and a deadline. That deadline. See us. Cranking on up here. Especially about where they were sitting in, and that's it in our two cases. Luckily, she bought scales. <laughs> because we act like we know what we're doing when we are. Studio control. Brad, let's go back to Phoenix one more time, get a final take from Jim Jones, who saw it up close and in person and uh, just spoke with LeBron James. So you get a little of that bird, birdie tone when you're off channel a little bit. I guess it's not too bad as long as it's not out there, and on your station when you got it tuned in. Two games, two games. And we know it's done the AM, so that's not a big deal. I don't really want this radio for those uh, local to semi-long distance uh, stations, you know, anything up statewide. I don't think I need to find New York with this. Though if I spent some time, I bet you I could find something.
Okay, that was like the end of that. Go ahead and turn that off. We'll do some final thoughts on the Voyager KA500. Yeah, this radio, okay, for the money, it's 50 bucks. Uh, it gets a solid buy in my book. Reason being is that you get all your bands. I know a lot of people, you know, want a little bit more than just AM, FM weather. They want the shortwave too. And you get it. You get 3.2 all the way up to 22, which is really nice. Uh, you'll have your daytime and your nighttime. And I was getting stations with it. So if you got to have your shortwave, there it is. Um, and it comes in rather well with that wire attached. FM reception is amazing. AM was decent. It's just that the, uh, you get the little birdie tones as you heard when you're off tune. Uh, not really bad. But uh, while my locals are coming in good, and then, you know, my semi-locals, you know, St. Louis, Toronto, those were coming in nice and clear. So a radio that gets up to 500 miles or so on AM is pretty good in my book. So definitely a buy at uh, $49. You know, it's, it does everything you need. Um, and then the big the big bonus I really like about this radio is that the ability to run the optional batteries, always important. I'm looking at radios, emergency radios that have that, and then have the optional solar and dynamo just because I think a good emergency radio should have both. Uh, that That is key. Uh, some people just, you know, you're not, if you're doing stuff and you don't need to be at the radio all the time, just put that up in the window and it's charging there. You don't have to worry about cranking the handle away. You know, that's, that's a really nice feature, especially if you're camping or you're off grid in a cabin somewhere for a few weeks and you need a radio that you don't want to sit there and put batteries into. This would definitely be one to take with you. The light is a little weak. Um, I wouldn't even call this really a light, but that, that dial lamp, you know, that's a really that's a really nice thing at night. Uh, let me see if I can show you that. Yeah, it would be really nice to see when you're in the dark. You don't need a flashlight. You got it right there. So you could probably run the radio with it, but I wouldn't just to save power. Um, but yeah, everything about it, I love. And yeah, definitely a buy in my book. So if you love this video, big thumbs up. If you love the radio, big thumbs up. <laughs> if you're new, subscribe bell icon ding 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 hit that little bell be notified for future videos whenever i put them up you'll get notified right away uh, also follow my twitter account because uh i put uh, little little tidbits uh, i put up uh, sometimes i'll put a little blurb there showing you what uh, videos are coming up so you don't have to like wait and be surprised if you don't want to be surprised check out twitter page once in a while i might do a teaser pick um, i also put up pictures of different radios i'm listening to during the day to give you an idea uh, what's going on in Todd Herbert's world. <laughs> and uh, yeah, it's fun. So, and then also comment below what you think about this Voyager KA500. I know some of you probably love the yellow. Some of you probably don't like the idea that it's that soft touch rubberized coating. Um, I don't mind it. Like I said, uh, hopefully this one lasts without turning into stickiness. Um, maybe some treatments are better than others. Um, if anybody knows if the Voyagers are prone to that, let me know. Okay, guys, take care. I appreciate you watching. Bye-bye.